Hi guys, it's Miss Val from the North Brunswick Public Library. Welcome to Alphabet Soup. It's a very special story time where we focus on a letter of the alphabet. Today's letter is, do you know it? B. What does B sound like? Can you tell me? B. 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 And what does B look like? Well, uppercase B has one long line in the back and two humps that stick out, right? And lowercase v, it has one line on the back and a circle right at the bottom, right? B. Can you think of things that start with the letter B? We've got some here on our paper. We have bear, we have butterfly, baker, and what does a baker make? Something else that begins with B? Maybe bread? Yeah, and broccoli, a vegetable. Do you guys like broccoli? I do. I like it with salt and pepper when it's roasted in the oven. It tastes really yummy. And last we have, what's this animal? A bat. Bats are a great animal for around this time of year, for Halloween, right? The first book I have for you guys is about bats. It's called Bats in the Band. Band also starts with B, doesn't it? Look at these bats. Look at all their instruments. Oh, I love bats. I think they're very fun animals. Now this book is a little bit long, so we might have to skip a few pages, okay guys? Don't worry though, you can check this out from our library anytime you want to. Okay, let's start. Bats in the band. Is there enough space? Let me scoop. Ah. Now you can see both pages. That's perfect. And what do we do while we read through our books? We look for B words. Buh. Let's see. In hibernation, we rest asleep through icy months of storm still still huddled together and waiting for weather to warm but as the wicked winter thaws we stretch our wings and shake our claws hunger drives us to the air we've got to eat no time to spare we sing for our supper in brightening mood swooping and diving we're finding our food there isn't a menu we play it by ear chirping and chasing the echoes we hear. You see the bugs that they're going after? Bugs start with B, right? But each of us senses that something's not right. And then when a bugle blast shatters the night, that one lonely note tells us just what is wrong. We're hungry for sound. We've been silent too long. Relief on our faces is easy to read. A little night music is just what we need. So what are some of our B words on these pages? We have brightening, bright like a light, but brightening on this page, it means they're happier. We have but, we have bugle. Do you know what a bugle is? It's like a trumpet. It's a brass instrument. And when you play it, it goes burr, 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 just like that, right? And blast, a loud, loud sound. And every last one of us knows where to go. A summertime theater after a show. We're chasing each other. Come on, look alive. Nobody wants to be last to arrive. But as we approach it, there aren't any lights. We can't be mistaken. We know it's tonight. We circle above. Then a window's thrown wide. It lights up the lawn and leads us inside. We swoop through the window, ignoring the bats offering t-shirts, posters, and hats. A music feast awaits us within. Why would we stop? We can't wait to begin. See, little bat-sized t-shirts. That would be really small, right? Bats are tiny. They're kind of like mice, but they have wings. The space we fly into is warm and inviting. We set up the stages and fiddle with lighting. Some bats have instruments perfect in size, but others without them 
will just improvise. Behind the stage curtain, they're getting in tune, making up things out of straws, out of spoons. What do we have on that page? Behind, behind. We're gonna skip that page. Right, we sing together as one voice. It seems the very walls rejoice. All together, rafters ringing, as though it's our souls are singing. Let's skip again, okay? The one bat band plays many things at once, with feet and breath and wings. And though we think it's this bat's inspired, watching leaves us feeling tired. Can you imagine a one-man band? And what's a new B word on this page? Breath. Breathing, right? <sighs> That's our breath. Next up, there's a country song. Some lonesome bat done something wrong. He's gone and broken someone's heart. Now everything has come apart. And what's our B word here? Broken. Ooh, this one's great. This is just like you guys here for story time. In a corner tucked away and far from where the others play, there's something for the younger set who can't sit through a concert yet. Right? That's just like you guys. You're a little too young for a big concert, but you can sit here for story time. Okay. Let's skip that one. Now on the main stage, there's a hum of air guitar and blazing drums. Hearts are pumping, drums are thumping. Everything that's loose is jumping. Can others hear us? We don't care. Let our spirits fill the air. Everyone joins the beat, clapping wings and stomping feet. We bounce, we hop, we twirl, we groove. The music makes our bodies move. Can you guys do that? You can clap and stomp. You can bounce and hop and twirl, right? You can do all of that. And what are some of our B words? We have beat, a beat. It's like rhythm, a drum beat. That's a beat in music. And then we have bodies. We all have bodies with legs and arms and a head. But daylight through the windows say it's time for us to go. So every bat who's willing crowds the stage to end our show. The music soars. Finale's here, the ending of the song. It builds and builds. Now here it comes. It's going, going, gong. What was a B word on our last page? Builds, it gets bigger and bigger. Then the shimmering vibrations dwindle down and fade away and silence fills our ears as loud as anything we played. A weary cheer, there's nothing more, but no one wants to leave. Our music was a gift we gave and one that we received. But finally, we've got to go. We stretch ah, and wave goodbye. Worn out, wrung out, half asleep, we greet the morning sky. Heading for home, we hum, we sing, and discover there's music in everything. The roar of a car or the bark of a pup, the sound of the rest of the world waking up. And what's our very last B word here? Bark. Do you have a dog that barks? Woof, woof, bark. Just like that, right? Okay. What else have we got that starts with the letter B here on our worksheet? We have some animals. We have some food. What have we had? A banana, a bird, a boy, are you a boy? A bell, a ball, a balloon, a bee, a bus. Are you taking the school bus now? Now that it's fall, yeah? And a bear, awesome. Good job, you guys. Now, Balloon is exciting because our next book, our last book for today, is called Emily's Balloon. Oh, so we're going to look for B words in this one, right? Let's get to the beginning. All right. 
One afternoon, Emily got a balloon. We already know that's our B word. Oops. First one flew off. The balloon was tied to her finger. Now it won't fly away, right? And then it came home with her. Emily's pretty small, isn't she? Would you say she's a baby? She might be. Let's take that off. Whee! Do you ever play this game with balloons? Keepy uppy, where you keep tossing it into the air and you don't let it hit the ground, right? Uh oh! It flew all the way up to the ceiling. Oh no! Here you go. Again? She lost it again. Oh no! Emily's mother tied the string in a loop and put the loop around Emily's spoon. Well, why would she do that? Look! It floats, but it doesn't fly away. Oh, that's so smart. And we have a B word on this page, but... Emily and the balloon went into the yard. They picked flowers. They are little yellow flowers, right? Do you know the name of a little yellow flower? There's one I know of called a buttercup, right? That's a good B word. Emily made a beautiful crown for the balloon and one for herself. They played house. And what's our B word, guys? Beautiful. Then whoosh, whoosh, went the wind. The balloon, Emily's balloon. Oh no, there in the tree. It's stuck. Emily, I can't get it down. I'm sorry. Oh, no, the balloon is up there. What's the balloon stuck in? The tree's branches? That's a pretty good B word. Emily missed the balloon. Dinner didn't taste good without it. We wanted to eat together. Then we would put our pajamas and brush our teeth brush is a good B word, and go to sleep. Sleeping in what? In bed. Tomorrow, I'll borrow a ladder and get it down. Really? Really. Really and truly? Really and truly. Good night, honey. Our B word here is borrow. You take something from someone, but just for a little bit. It's sharing. You give it back later. But Emily couldn't stop thinking about the balloon. Was it still there? She looked. There it was, nestled in the tree. It looked just like the moon. Good night. Does look like the moon, doesn't it? Oh, that's so nice. Okay, thank you guys for coming to Alphabet Soup. I had such a fun time doing this story time with you guys. How do we end Alphabet Soup, do you know? We sing the alphabet together. You know how the song goes, right? Let's go. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V, W, X, Y, N, Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time won't you sing with me? You did such a good job, guys. I loved having you. I hope you'll come back next time. If you subscribe to the YouTube page, you'll get alerts when new videos go up. And if you like our Facebook page, you can put comments on our videos, interact with us. I love seeing what you guys have to say about my videos. All right, I hope to see you soon and I hope you have a good day. Bye.